for those who sojourn in Allah's path or to Allah, a couple of things. One, they consider dua not a form of asking but a form of ibadah. So they say, Ij'al du'a'aka ubudiyya la talaban. Make your du'a a form of worship, not, a, not an actual request. Du'a is very important in learning to talk to God. And learning to hear from God. But. If you approach God. With. Hubris. Or presumptuously. Or arrogantly. Why do you think God would give you the kashf? Kashf means would open or lift the veils to allow for a personalized relation. Think on human terms. Sometimes thinking just as humans helps us. If I come to you and you get the sense that I am asking you for something. And I tell you, oh, you know, you're my friend. I care about you. But very quickly, you get the sense that I'm in this relationship that I have for, with you. I'm asking you for something. And if you don't give me the something, I am going to be cross with you. What, what happens in normal human relations? You start thinking, this is an opportunistic relationship. This is a person who is not really asking. They're, they, yes, they're, making, they're being polite, saying, please, can I have X and Y or Z? But they are really demanding. They're demanding it in, in a... In a, in a couched language. And if I don't comply with the demand, then that will affect the relationship. It's not a real relationship. And either you feel like a benefactor, not a friend, not a genuine relationship, but either you feel you're generous and so you say, okay, I don't mind. Okay, I'll give it to you. Although I know, by, by definition, the minute I give it to you, what will happen is what always human, happens with human beings all the time, is that because you approached God with greed, you received from God with greed, the minute God gives you what you want, you will start drifting away. It, it, it is inevitable. So the fervor and the passion and the heartache that used to exist as you were praying for the thing, once God gives it to you, suddenly it seems very remote. And you can hardly even remember. You might even be in, in, in tempted to reinvent a little bit of history. Oh, you know, yeah, I, I, I had heartache, but, you know, I really got what I got because I deserve it. Or, you know, yeah, I, I was so... You sort of and sort of chuckle at yourself. Yeah, I was praying so fervently for this, but you know, it's my hard work that got me where, whatever. God, if if human beings are not stupid, a priori, God is not stupid. God. Will give could give you what you want as a benefactor. Okay, here, take it and go. I know that you're not genuine. Just take it and go. 
Or God might say, you're not genuine. I'm not giving you what you want. Now, if God wants to build a relationship with you, if God, in fact, wants to encourage a relationship with you, do you, does God deal with you as a benefactor by saying, here, take it and go? Or does God say, I'm not going to give it to you because you are approaching me opportunistically? We don't have a real relationship. So, Raddid Dua, not having your prayer answered, can often be actually Allah draw, calling upon you to approach Allah genuinely, not opportunistically. So it's not that Allah is actually denying you, but Allah is inviting you to rethink what the way you are approaching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 